Hey everybody, it's Terry. Welcome back to my workshop. As you can see, I have a couple of different winter projects that I've been working on, but I decided to take a break from the balsa dust with this. This is the E-Flight UMX Twin Otter. There are two primary reasons why I wanted to try out this airplane. The first is that it comes out of the box pretty much just like this. There's no assembly required. So when I'm ready to take a break from building, I can just grab the Twin Otter and go out and fly. The second big reason is that because this is a UMX sized airplane, I have a lot of flexibility with where I can fly. And that's important because it's still winter time. I live in Wisconsin and my RC club's flying field is often inaccessible because of snow. So being able to fly the Twin Otter down at my local park is a big plus. Now let's take a minute to talk about the basic features of the Twin Otter. As you would expect, this is a molded foam airframe and it comes out of the box with the color scheme that you see here. And this trim scheme is a mixture of paint and stickers. Now this is a four channel model. And with most four channel RC airplanes, you have ailerons, elevator, rudder, and throttle. And that is mostly true in this case, except the Twin Otter does not have a functioning rudder. Instead, it controls yaw with differential thrust of the two motors. So when you want to yaw to the left, the right motor speeds up and the left motor slows down. The opposite happens when you want to yaw to the right. And this system is actually very effective and has lots of control authority. So don't concern yourself over the fact that this airplane doesn't have a functioning rudder or a steerable nose wheel. You won't miss either one. The Twin Otter is a bind and fly airplane. That means that all of the necessary onboard electronics are included and installed at the factory. Inside the fuselage, there is a Spectrum compatible receiver. Integrated into that receiver are speed controls for each of the two brushless motors. There are also three linear servos, one for each aileron, and then another inside the fuselage for the elevator. The only things that you'll need to provide are a Spectrum transmitter to bind to that receiver, and also a one cell 800 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery. And that battery gets placed under this hatch. And that brings me to my only real gripe about this model. The battery is connected with Velcro to a tray under the hatch. And the tray is made out of thin sheet foam. And on my example, the tray was not glued very well. And it actually pulled out of the model one of the first times I removed a battery. I've glued it back into place with five minute epoxy and it's been holding fine since then. Like all of the newer models in E-Flight's lineup, the UMX Twin Otter is equipped with safe select stabilization. And I think by now, most of us are familiar with Safe Select and the benefits that it provides. But let's take a quick minute to review. Essentially, you assign a switch on your transmitter where you can enable or disable safe stabilization. When safe is enabled, the bank and pitch angles of the airplane are limited, so you won't be doing any aerobatics. Another benefit of having safe enabled is that when you release the right control stick, the airplane will resume straight and level flight on its own. Now, when you disable safe stabilization, all those limits are turned off. So you can roll completely around or pitch to any angle you want, including inverted flight. So you can do any aerobatics that you're comfortable with. Now, whether safe is enabled or disabled, AS3X stabilization is always active. Now, AS3X is different from safe. Its only job is to smooth the flight path of the airplane, even if it's flying in rough air. And that's especially helpful for these UMX sized airplanes. The full-scale Twin Otter that this model emulates has fixed landing gear. There are also some Twin Otters that have floats for water operations, and you have both of those options with the model as well. In stock form, the airplane comes with fixed landing gear with wheels, and this landing gear is attached to plastic hard points on the bottom of the fuselage. With a little bit of pressure, that landing gear is simply pulled out. There's a separate set of hard points on the bottom of the fuselage that allow you to install E-Flight's UMX float set. These floats allow you to operate the Twin Otter off of water, or as you'll see in a minute, these floats also work well on snow. Now it's worth noting that it takes a little bit more pressure to install and remove the floats. And I found that after a few cycles of taking the floats on and off, the hard points on my model worked loose a little bit. So I added some extra glue and they've been holding fine since then. It's also worth noting that you have a third option with this model of using no landing gear at all. And this is great for modelers who typically fly at grass fields where the small stock landing gear just isn't practical. So with this setup, you can hand launch and belly land your airplane. My initial flights with the UMX Twin Otter were performed with floats off of snow. And in this configuration, the ground handling is actually quite good. 
The differential thrust allows you to taxi around with full control. And once you're ready to take off, just give it some throttle and off it goes. And when you're in the air, I think you'll find that this airplane is in the middle of the road performance wise. It goes pretty fast, but not very fast. And you can slow it down, but it's not a floater. So I think it falls in that nice middle area that will be the comfort zone for your average sport pilot. Now keep in mind that this is a pretty small model, so you want to keep it in close to avoid losing visual orientation. That's especially important to remember if you like to fly with safe enabled. When safe is enabled, it does require large control inputs to get this airplane turned around. That's also important to remember if you like to fly with safe and you're intending to fly this model indoors. It can be done. I've flown this one indoors. You just want to make sure that your indoor venue is at least as large as a full-size basketball court. And that's probably good advice even if you fly with safe disabled. Now with safe disabled, this becomes a much more agile airplane. It can do loops, rolls, inverted flight, all the standard aerobatics. My favorite move to do with this airplane is actually a hammerhead. You just point the nose straight up and then at the top of the climb, use the differential thrust to whip it around to point straight back down again. It's a lot of fun and this airplane does it well. Now, as I mentioned, this is a middle of the road airplane performance wise. It doesn't do anything super duper spectacularly well, but it does a lot of things quite well. And I think it will appeal to a lot of different pilots. This concludes my review of the E-Flight UMX Twin Otter. Stick around to see a little bit more flight footage. Also, make sure that you check out the written article in Model Aviation Magazine. Thanks for watching.